thanks to Redeming Explore got Nash. These are our top restaurants here in the city of Nashville for 2020. I'm currently in an area called One Bellevue Place. You can learn about this wonderful area in Bellevue in the link below. And one of our first restaurants for the top 2020 restaurant video is Honey Fire Barbecue. Honey Fire Barbecue is a relatively new restaurant here in the city of Nashville, but they make amazing, amazing barbecue. Some of my favorite things on their menu include their brisket sandwich. Another one of my favorite sandwiches is the Southern Shine, which is smoked pulled pork, pimento cheese, honey barbecue sauce, and candied bacon. It's such an amazing place. The barbecue is fantastic, but one of the things that they're also known for is their whiskey collection. They have nearly 185 whiskeys, and they have the most amazing peanut butter banana bread pudding. It is fantastic. All right, now it's time for me to dive into some of their signature sandwiches. Starting off, you have the Diablo Jones, and this has fried jalapenos, queso, uh, the habanero, honey-infused barbecue sauce, pulled pork on a bun. Now we're gonna go to this one. This is called the Southern Shine, and this has pulled pork, habanero, honey-infused barbecue sauce, candied bacon, fried green tomato, pimento cheese. We're in the South, guys. We love pimento cheese. We eat it on everything, and uh, these fried green tomatoes, are some of my favorite things to actually enjoy. And I, I, I love it on a good barbecue sandwich. All right, this next sandwich is called the Doc Holiday. It's a smoked turkey sandwich with cranberry barbecue sauce, cranberry sauce, a white Alabama sauce. This is part of their secret menu. The only way that you can know about this secret menu item is first off watching this video, secondly, following them on social media. Their Instagram is Honeyfire Barbecue. These are the famous egg rolls. These are called the baby back egg rolls. It has rib meat inside of it, coleslaw, fried, and then you have this habanero honey infused barbecue sauce. We're gonna dip that sucker right there. Get that nice and messy, and then we're gonna eat it. Oh, the egg roll it is on point. The friedness with the rib meat, the cold coleslaw. Wow, it's so good. And then that barbecue sauce just makes it, it just tastes incredible. Wow, it's so good. I'm gonna finish this one. Now this is the hidden gem of Honey Fire Barbecue. This is the Nutter Butter Banana Pudding. And look, there's the Nutter Butter on top. There's also been uh, peanut butter on the side. I'm just gonna dig into this stuff. And I've had this numerous times, and this is hands down my favorite banana bread pudding in the city of Nashville. I have a little bit of the Nutter Butter, peanut butter, and the pudding, and bananas. Delicious. This is truly one of the hidden gems of Honey Fire. I'm just gonna do another bite. Got a little chunk of another butter, banana. Wow, you need to try this, literally. You need to come to Honey Fire Barbecue right now, wherever you are in the United States, and come try this. So these sandwiches look amazing and they are incredible, but Honey Fire Barbecue is also known for their regular barbecue sandwiches. You can get a pulled pork sandwich with just regular coleslaw, tastes amazing, and they're also known for their brisket. They, they smoke their brisket for around 18 hours a day, and that's what they're really known for, is their smoked brisket. So make sure to check out Honey Fire in one Bellevue place. the Berry Hill neighborhood, and you can learn more about the Berry Hill neighborhood in the link below. I'm actually in the parking lot of a restaurant called The Funky Griddle, which you can find right behind me. We featured Funky Griddle for our top breakfast video here in the city of Nashville. You can learn more about that in the link below as well. Funky Griddle is a super unique restaurant here in the city of Nashville. I would say it's even one of the most unique restaurants here. The thing that makes Funky Griddle unique is you find a griddle at every one of the tables that you sit at, and you have the opportunity to cook your own hash browns, your your own pancakes and your own scrambled eggs if you want to. I would highly recommend Funky Griddle for a date, for a group gathering, for a solo breakfast. They also have a great selection of coffee. They serve breakfast and lunch and they're closed for dinner and they're closed on Mondays. I'm currently in East Nashville. Right behind me is Butcher and Bee. Butcher and Bee is a Mediterranean Southern fusion restaurant, and it is some of the best food here in the city of Nashville. There are two reasons that Butcher and Bee made our list for top restaurants in 2020. First is they get all of their ingredients from local farms and local ranchers and local produce makers. The second one is they combined these ingredients that blend so well together where you're truly getting a Southern Mediterranean experience. Some of the things they specialize 
in is their delicious whipped feta that is fantastic with their homemade pita bread. Also, they have delicious burgers, they have coffee on site, and they have some of the best cocktails in Nashville. Butcher and Bee is one of my personal favorite restaurants here in the city of Nashville. currently at Nectar Urban Cantina, which is a Mexican-inspired cuisine restaurant found in the Donaldson community. Nectar Urban Cantina is found on the corner of Lebanon Pike and McGavick Pike. They just celebrated their three-year anniversary, so let's go learn more about this restaurant and their beer garden. Here in the beer garden, they have an outdoor margarita bar, a children's play area, free Wi-Fi. They also offer community events throughout the year, such as movie nights, concerts, and seasonal celebrations. Other amenities of the restaurant include a grab and go option, a coffee and juice bar, a full indoor bar, and fast casual dining. All right, this is the moment you've been waiting for. This is the reason why you're watching this video. Yes, the outdoor amenities are amazing. The location is in a great spot in Donaldson. Let's start with the smoothie bowl that's served all day. This is the Soul Shakedown, and it has dragon fruit, blueberries, coconut, pineapple. This thing looks amazing. It looks refreshing. It's, it's something that I think I could eat all throughout the day and feel good about myself. And now let's talk about one of their most popular items on their menu, and this is the fish taco. So you have your fish, looks like a tartar sauce, a mango and cilantro. You have some lettuce and their fresh made corn tortillas. Speaking of corn tortillas, this is another one of their taco options. This is the nasty, and this is fried chicken, pickled jalapeno, pico de gallo, cilantro, and to top it all off this beautiful, beautiful queso. One of my favorite things on the menu here at Nectar Urban Cantina is this Mexican street corn. So you have a chipotle mayo, you have some cheese, cilantro, and then you have full corn on the cob, and then you have that little lime to give that little extra kick on the side. They serve coffee all day, so if you're looking for a coffee all throughout the day when they open in the morning to when they close, you can get one of these coconut mochas, and this is one of their premium coffees off of their menu. Another menu favorite here at Nectar Urban Cantina is the burrito bowl. You have some lettuce, you have a Mexican cheese blend, rice, pico de gallo, black beans, and this homemade ranch dressing. It's a super refreshing salad, so typically if I'm getting this, I'll either get a piece of fried chicken or a piece of fish with this salad, and it blends so, so well. This is the most unique item on their menu. This is the avocado fries. Literally, you have a chunk of avocado with their fried batter. You have a homemade ranch dressing, and they're just super unique. Another thing that Nectar Urban Cantina is known for is their drinks. This is the house squeezed margarita. This is fresh, like it just looks amazing with the salt on top. And this is the Nectar Mule. This is one of their most popular drinks on their menu. Fresh squeezed ginger, agave nectar with your choice of vodka. This made our list of the 2020 top restaurants here in the city of Nashville due to the fact of its popularity here in the Donaldson community. Speaking of community, it's very community focused. And as I mentioned earlier, they have the movie nights and the concerts and they have one of the best outdoor spaces in the entire city of Nashville. Personally, this is one of my favorite restaurants here in the city of Nashville. And the reason for that is because when I eat their food, I'm not feeling weighed down. I feel super refreshed and I feel rejuvenated after I eat their food. Also, they made our list because their food is absolutely incredible and you need to check this place out. I'm currently in the Donaldson community and right behind me is the best Irish pub in the city of Nashville. This is McNamara's. If you're looking for the most authentic Irish music here in the city of Nashville, this is the place to be. The owner even comes and performs some of the Irish music on the weekends. They just renovated the upstairs to include a singer-songwriter stage. This will be one of the best singer-songwriter restaurants in Nashville within a few years. Now let's talk about their food. They have the best, most delicious Irish food here in the city of Nashville. Nashville. From bangers and mash, to fish and chips, to getting a true pint of Guinness. Also, they have this amazing ice cream cake that can feed a family of four. They have plenty of other Irish dishes. You need to come check this place out. I'm Stuart Deming of Explore.Nash. Make sure to go follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, if you're interested in learning more about the city of Nashville, check out our podcast where we talk about food, business news, and we cover neighborhoods. Thank you for exploring with us.